start in the seated guard position, all right? Open seated guard position. Uke is in front of us uh, in a uh, standing open guard position, all right? From here, I'm gonna post my right hand on the mat and I'm gonna dig my right heel and I'm gonna scoop myself forward into the shin to shin position. I'm gonna go elbow deep with my left arm. You can think about as um, punching your, your own shoulder with your left hand, all right? So elbow deep. With my, my left leg, I have a, my left foot is flexed, and then I'm basically more like ankle to ankle, shin to shin, ankle to ankle. And I have about a 30 degree bend here in my left leg. My right foot can just lie here right in the middle, but we, we wanna have our heel kind of digging into the mat. We don't wanna just a limp leg here. Now, from here, I'm gonna post my right hand. I'm gonna bring her weight forward slightly, and we're not gonna fall all the way to our back. When we get to about, a, at, uh, 45 degrees here, she'll usually step. We post our right elbow on the mat, we catch the ankle, and I carry that foot over. My forehead goes to her knee. So as you can see, it's to the inside of the knee here, and I've gathered both of the ankles together. Now from here, I'm gonna drive forward with my uh, to my right, and my right foot is, my toes are flexed on the mat, because I need to drive. From here, I jump forward, Okay, and you can gather both ankles here, and if you want an ankle lace, you can come around to the back. And we we're able to take our hip back. Alright? So that's that's executing the uh, technique with a partner. Now, without a partner, okay, we're gonna very much start in the same position. I'll I'll face the camera so you guys can see. Open guard position here, okay guys? Now I'm gonna choose one side, so I'm gonna move to my right hip. I'm gonna use my left leg though to hit chin to shin. Dig my right heel, and I scoop myself forward to a shin-to-shin -shin position. Again, remember, our left hand, it's like we're punching our own shoulder, all right? My left foot is flexed. I have a nice bend here, all right? From here, I post my right hand, okay? I start to move back, and then I carry the leg over, and we gather both of the ankles. So you can simulate your hands gathering ankles. Notice that my chest is forward of my hips. My forehead is attached to the inside of their knee. Now my feet have an important job to do. My right foot is flexed. From here, we're basically gonna scissor, it's like we're scissoring our right leg backwards as I drive forward. So from here, I scissor, now I come to my left knee, I pick up the legs, and we can also simulate just walking up, getting to the sink. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate when we bring the uke forward, but uke says, uh-uh, and they take a step backwards and their legs become very parallel, all right? So everything's the same. We start in the initial open guard position. I post my hand, I seat myself into the shin shin position. I start to move back. She steps forward, but then she's like, no way. So we, we switch our hands, all right? So back again from here. She, she stepped forward. Right here, when she, switch, when she steps backwards, guys, my left hand needs to extend and catch the outside of her left knee, all right? My right hand is gonna go elbow deep on her right. So she steps back and we touch, just so, all right? At the same time, my right leg rotates behind me. So it was here initially, we rotate the leg behind. Now we're in that upright position that we did initially in our first warm-up drill. My left foot is flexed, okay? Toes are poised on the mat. From here, my right hand's gonna drift down to the heel and my ear is attached to her quad here. Now we have to have a really nice drive forward. This left hand is blocking the outside of her knee and that prevents her from being able to step, okay? From here, I drive, I lift, left hand goes as an uppercut. Now we kick out the ankle and then a lot of times you can end in a nice leg drag position. Okay guys? So, now, without my partner, okay, everything's gonna be the same. I'm in a seated guard position. I scooch forward, shin to shin. Okay, we step out, we try to catch that ankle. She says, no way, she steps back. We switch our hands, okay? So from here, left hand comes to the outside of the knee, right hand is elbow deep. Right hand drifts to the ankle, okay? Chest over quad, we, we pull, like a, uh, starting a lawnmower. Left arm becomes an uppercut, pick up the leg and we drive forward. Okay guys, we're gonna start from this position where I was elbow deep with my right arm and my left hand was on the outside of her knee here, okay guys? So a lot of times, Uke's only option really is to back step, all right? So when they back step, we're gonna switch our arms again. My right arm is gonna come underneath the leg, just so, like an uppercut to my own chin. My left arm rotates outside 
to the outside of the hip. Okay, so my left hand is here. We're looking for that hip bone. When we catch that hip, we close our left elbow. So if Kiva was not standing here, okay, my left elbow comes down just so. All right? Back in. So from here, my uppercut with our right arm, and we're, we're, our elbow is close to our body, left hand on the hip. Okay, my left foot is flexed. All right? It has to be flexed. We want to catch that ankle. All right? And my right foot is also flexed and our toes are on the mat because we want to uh, be able to push off with our right foot. From here, her momentum is already going backwards, so we're gonna follow that momentum, all right? As I close my elbow, I'm trying to dump her left hip on the mat, okay? So we close the elbow, we lift, okay? Now, when she falls, we rotate our left leg behind us, okay, chest low, and then we move up to the back, all right? And that's how we, we hit our hip dump from the shin to shin position when our uke takes a back step. Now we're gonna demonstrate how to catch this shin to shin dump uh, without our partner. So we're gonna start in that position where we're in that kind of modified pigeon, all right? Right arm is elbow deep, left hand is rotated to the outside of the knee here, okay? We're gonna pretend, we're gonna imagine that uke takes a, uh, a back step to our left. When uke takes a back step to our left, guys, we're gonna rotate our arms just so. And we're uppercutting our own chin, left hand comes to the outside of the hip, and we close our left elbow. Now from here, my right leg rotates out from underneath me. Okay, we know they're moving back, we keep our left foot flexed, we extend the left leg up to catch that ankle, and then we fall over to our left side. When my left foot hits the mat, guys, we're gonna scissor our legs hard, and now we've come to the top position, okay? So that's how we're gonna hit that. Okay guys, so now we're gonna demonstrate the whole flow without our partner. And again, you can do all of these techniques individually or we can do a whole flow as one piece, all right? So we're gonna start from our open guard position, all right? So here we go. Got it guys?